let's see there we go hey everybody hope you guys are all doing okay today let me fix something up here i'm not used to using this um monitor and whatnot so let me actually move this along uh let's see that one right there should be okay for now yeah let's just do that for now okay okay everybody uh interesting day for bitcoin we are seeing a little bit of a breakdown now uh bitcoin's pushing about twenty six thousand dollars or so if we go down here on the daily charts let me go over here very fast let me move some stuff around for us there we go all right right now on the daily chart you can see bitcoin's having a small breakdown looks like we're Pricing in about 26,241 right now. Still coming down a little bit more. Um, right now, we're kind of at this support level right here. So this is mostly where people are going to be taking some of their buy orders. Let me get out of the Magna right here. But you can see we're heading for support. So people are going to start to buy up at these levels and hope for some type of reversal over the next 24 to 48 hours, it looks like. Let me go over here very fast. There we go. Now, at this point, we really are still on this overall downtrend. If you're buying right now, which I probably am, uh, you are going to be looking for a little bit of reversal here. Hopefully, we're not going to see anything breaking down, but we're pretty much just looking at this downtrend here. So, there we go. Let me make a move right here. There we go. Okay. And again, sorry about the weird uh, camera, guys. My other camera, Loki, broke it while I was on the call with some other people. And so, I have to have this one send 10, basically. Um, it won't hold a charge or something like that. So I have to send it in there and have them uh, fix it up. So the $2,000 camera is um, out of use for a little bit. The $60 cheap camera that you guys are looking at me with right now, uh, that's what we're going to be using for a little bit of time here. So, uh, and Loki says hello after he broke my camera. But basically, as you can see on the 15-minute chart here, we are breaking down bit by bit. Um, nothing too crazy at this point as far as like, oh my gosh, this is something really, really terrible. We're basically just heading into a support zone. We're going to see a lot of people continue to buy up at these levels. Um, if you guys go over here to the 4-hour chart, we are bouncing. It looks like we're just trying to hold this 50. Let me, oh, actually, oh, that's not even a 50. What am I looking at here? There we go. There we go. All right, we're just trying to hit some of these levels of support. Um, as far as the overall market, everybody, if you go over here to the NASDAQ, and hey, GT, Loki can do that. You can't stay mad at him. I know, right? At least for now, um, I, I'm not I'm not ticked off about it. Uh, it, was more, it was more that it happened during a phone call that I was upset with, but I had this backup mic, which was good. But I think all I have to do for the uh, as far as the, the camera is send it back to Blackmagic. They're probably going to charge me two to $300 to get it fixed up, and then they're going to send it back to me and I think that's all I'll have to do because the HDMI port got bent in this thing and then the um, the actual plug-in got bent as well. So imagine you can kind of charge it, but the charge isn't that good. I could just replace the battery every hour, but that seems very tedious. So um, what I'm going to do is just uh, find a way to send it in to them. I'm just not entirely sure how to do that yet. So I'm waiting for an email back from Blackmagic Support, and I'm probably going to head off today to the, um, what do you call those people? The postal service and have them figure it out um but as far as everything else is going guys look at the nasdaq is breaking out hey tanker hope you're doing very very well today we've seen the nasdaq break out at this point there we go oh let me move this now i got this oh, there we go all right nasdaq continues to break out have nice moves if you go over here to the hour chart it's continuing to grind up grind up dow jones is continuing to come down here guys we did have a little bit of boost on friday that's because of all the, the debt ceiling stuff go over here to the daily chart the Dow Jones really hasn't been doing anything as of late. We've had a short-term breakout here. If you guys want to look at this as far as, um, uh, there we go. Had a short-term breakout there. We're doing okay at this point. We did have a change of character, which is pretty nice there. But overall, guys, we're looking not as nice when it comes to the Dow Jones. It's the SPY, as you can see right here, looking nice, coming up to this level of resistance. And the NASDAQ that are really looking good at this point in time. Dow Jones, not really looking that good. But again, the Dow Jones really doesn't have that much technology in, in it, right? NASDAQ booming, SPY booming. And then, you know, you think Bitcoin would be booming at the same time. But it seems like um, Bitcoin is really just giving up a lot of the gains we experienced earlier on the year. So if you guys are asking me what I'd be doing at this point, I'd be taking in some buying orders right now to hopefully go a little bit higher. Uh, we'll see what happens afterwards, though, but definitely um, hoping that we can bounce off of these levels and head back up here to at least $27,000 or so. 
maybe if I go back over here to the weekly candle, I can show you guys as well. We're really trying to hold the 200 here and the 20, just like we've been trying to do for the past few weeks here. We're trying to hold at that point and make that rebound. It's worked the last two times. Will it work the third time? Not entirely sure. You can definitely see them trying to push Bitcoin down uh, at this point below the 200. Maybe if I actually hold this one up here and I keep this at the weekly chart. There you go. And I go over here to maybe the 15. There you guys go. You can see how we're trying to break down below right now. I mean, we are, but we're trying to um, not close there by the end of the day, I would say. So let's go back over here very fast. There we go. So just trying to hold that zone at this point. Uh, you could imagine that this weekly chart is probably going to be a little bit more like down here towards 26,000 or so, but that we are getting pushed down pretty heavily at this point. Let me go to the one minute chart. Oh, let me get out of these moving averages, though, as far as the weekly. Let's go back to the ch ch uh, chart. There we go. We're definitely getting pushed down bit by bit here. There we go. Oh, OK. And let me make sure I can see what's going on right here. Now, as far as divergences and stuff, guys, we really haven't seen that divergence just quite yet. All we're seeing is Bitcoin continue to get pushed down here. Again, is this something to be concerned about? A little bit, but is this more than your day-to-day -day stuff? No, we've been here before quite a bit over the past few months. Uh, past few months, excuse me. One of the things I wanted to show you guys, though, so if I can, if I can move this. Sorry, guys, it's been a freaking long, long week. Uh, second monitor. Okay. So no, that's not the second monitor. What the heck? Why does it keep doing that? Uh. Display three. Okay, here we go. So uh, on this page, we can see a lot of the option flow data coming in. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it as much as I would like, though. So what I'm going to do here is move this in a little bit. Uh, I think that works out. Yeah, that works out a little bit better. And let's go over here to the top flow. Uh, what am I looking at? No, this should be top flow here. There we go. Uh, there's a lot of puts on the SPY or SPX being traded right now, which I think is pretty interesting. Tesla, a lot of calls being traded and things like that. Um, Nvidia has slowed down a little bit over the past few days. It looks like it's kind of lost that steam that it had. Now, this is as far as uh, what we've been looking at as far as um, um, what do you want to call it? Um, just the big boom they had. But um, Tesla's still doing well. SPX is still doing well. And Apple all of a sudden is doing very well. It looks like Apple's having a big week this week. I think they're having some type of special event. So we're going to see what happens. And we're seeing uh, an attempt to try to hold $26,000 as support right now. But overall, guys, Bitcoin is down about 4% today. Um, most people are going to be buying at these levels, I would say. But it really, um, you really want to make sure you have a stop loss somewhere down here around 25600 or a little bit around there. Because whenever we have these big drops like this, you can see we're still getting pushed down here. Right, Bitcoin's still coming down. There we go. Now we're down to 25,950. Gotta be careful here because if we do keep falling down, this is one of those really, really bad weeks where um, Bitcoin um, you know, is breaking down below some of those larger moving averages. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, let me go over here and put the first monitor on. No, this is so weird. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, I'm switching, I think it's just trying to copy the other window, but there we go, it doesn't matter too much. You guys can see Bitcoin coming down a little bit right now. We got BNB breaking down about 10% right now. Chili is down about 9%, Crow down about three and a half. Uh, Ethereum is on four and a half. If you go over down here, you can see Ethereum getting pushed down a little bit more as well. Ape token is down about 12% right now in just the last 24 hours. If you go over here to the weekly chart, you can see how it's trying to break down below the support. And I think this kind of sums up some of the altcoins we've been watching. Uh, it's almost down to 13% right now. We're getting closer and closer to some of these support levels here. You do have other things out there like Matic that aren't even close to some of the lows we saw back in June of last year. However, they are coming back down here to these support levels kind of around 71 cents, which is a which is a fairly big deal here, guys. We are looking at some really big moves. Let's see right here. And a discount. This is for me is usually where I'd be buying at some of these support levels here. Let's see right here. What's right there? Yeah, right around here is where normally I'd be buying as far as trying to go long here. Now, my stop loss is probably going to be a little bit less than this. So if it does hit, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, usually this is where I'd be trying to go long at some of these larger support levels and trying to bounce back out. Because I know I did a, uh, I know I did a short, I think a few days ago, where it was, maybe it was just actually yesterday. I'm not, I forget. 
Uh, it's been a freaking busy week. Well, I shorted somewhere around here. I think I covered somewhere around here. And I think I went long somewhere over here. So we're going to see if it continues to um, go down, stop losses, get hit, or if we end up having a nicer move on the upside. But so far, we're kind of in the midst of where people are panicking and stuff like that. And that's valid because what do you call Bitcoin right now is getting hit a little bit harder bit by bit. And hey, Manny, happy to see you back. Uh, what's right here? Oh, there we go. There we go. And so far, you're seeing Ape Token down about 13%. Dogecoin down about 10% right now. What's going on with Dogecoin? Four hour chart. Yeah, so we're definitely seeing the crypto market get slammed, but I wonder if there's a reason for that. Let me go over here to Twitter very fast, guys, and see if I can just figure out what's going on with this. Is there any news on Bitcoin? I wonder if I just go over here to explore trending. Sometimes they put trending stuff like kind of suits you. Seattle and Vegas. Uh, what does that even mean? Uh... We're on a Taylor Apple. I don't know. Maybe for you, I don't see anything here. I mean, Seattle and Vegas seems interesting, but that's not something we're talking about here. Uh, probably best just to go over here to top latest. So this is why I don't like to look at Bitcoin on Twitter anymore. All it is is just people promoting stuff. See, oh, is the SEC doing something right now? Let's see. Let's see right here. Somebody's mad that they're selling Bitcoin. I don't, yeah, I don't see any big news coming out so far. Yeah. Binance versus SEC. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay, that that would do it. That would do it. So let me go over here and type in Binance. Why is it? Let me go over here to. Uh... There we go. Okay. SEC sues, SEC sues Binance and CEO Jinping citing U.S. security laws regulations. Oh, okay, so they're going after Binance, it looks like. This will be interesting. I thought we agreed the bull run was this week. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, so that's the news I didn't see right here. Let me go back in time a little bit. Binance, let's see. wonder if we can find a story on this or something. Now, now that I know this is kind of going on, let me actually do something right here. Um, there we go. Changing the title of the video just to say Binance is being sued. So people, when they hop in here, they have an idea. So we can go over here to CNBC. So, um, this is probably going to be a very long term type of thing that we're looking at here. Usually these court cases take a very long time. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what's going on here. So SEC sues Binance and CEO Zhang Peng Zhao for U.S. securities violations. The SEC sued crypto exchange Binance and its billionaire founder Cheng Peng Zhao, alleging that they work to attract U.S. customers, uh, commingling investor funds with their own and violating securities laws. So I think this is something that we kind of saw when it came to, um, maybe FTX a little bit, but we haven't, I don't know. So I would probably be very careful at this point if you have funds in Binance or Binance US if this is what's being alleged. Um, now, the SEC has been trying to go after Binance for a while. You've seen it kind of on CNBC as well. They've been trying to go after uh, Shang Jing, uh, Jingping. I can't pronounce his name. Sorry, guys. Um, hmm. I would say at this point, you know, tread with caution if you're using Binance. Um, usually when you see something like this, you will see a lot of outflows from the exchange. It's better to not have to worry about the exchange going down. I don't think Binance is going down, but you can see how this is definitely leading to a pretty crazy time. Uh, you can see Dogecoin rebounding here. You can see um, Engine Coin down 10. Um, 
Bitcoin right now rebounding just a little bit here after the breakdown. There's a little bit of a rebound here. But definitely, uh, if you guys are buying, you guys are just trying to buy off of some of these supports, which technically just got broken here. So be careful with that one. The overall market, NASDAQ, all still doing okay. But let's kind of go into the story a little bit here and figure out what's going on, just so you guys have a little bit more of an idea. Uh, let's see right here. The Securities and Exchange Commission filed 13 charges against Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, and its founder, Sheng Peng Zhao, alleging that both commingled billions of dollars worth of user funds. Wait, so, so both Binance and the head of uh, Binance, okay, and the co-founder, okay. Uh, user funds that sent them to a European company controlled by Zhao. The U.S. regulatory alleged that Zhao and his exchange worked to subvert their own controls to allow high net worth U.S. In investors and customers to continue trading on Binance unregulated uh, international exchange. One senior executive alleged told a compliance officer that the company was open, operating a as a F unlicensed security exchange in the USA, bro. Uh... Don't know what that word means, but probably not a good one. Uh, the complaint alleges that Binance created Binance.us as a shield for the main company in Zhao to reveal, ret uh, retard, and resolve law enforcement targets and insulate Binance. Tard. Okay. Binance, or, okay, was anything actually here? So, Binance knew that tens of thousands of customers were in the U.S. but chose not to act, the SEC alleged. Despite federal law barring an unregistered offer and sale of securities, Binance Company's compliance in 2019 was largely a public show. The SEC complaint uh, continues. So, okay, this is interesting. Despite the federal law barring the unregistered offering and sale of securities, Binance ultimate compliance in 2019 was largely a public show. The SEC complaint con continues. Huh. And hey, Nico, happy to see you back. Um, yeah, guys, this is some big news. This is going to, um, let's see. The SEC alleges that Zhao ordered the creation of an evasion plan for high net worth customers using a VPN service to hide the U.S. location and submitting compliance documents to obscure their company of origin or country of origin. CNBC previously reported on how Binance employees encourage users to evade the exchanges you know customer systems. Uh, nor your customer systems through VPNs. We do not need to uh, let users know that they can change their KYC on Binance.com and continue to use it. But the message, the message needs to be uh, finessed very carefully because whether we send, uh, whatever we send will be public. We cannot be held accountable for it. Zhao allegedly told his top team in uh, 2019. Okay. So it says uh, Zhao dismissed the charges on Twitter. We can just kind of see what he had to say very fast. Our team is all standing by ensuring systems are stable, including withdrawals and deposits. We will ensure a response once we see uh, the complaint. Haven't seen it yet. Media gets all the info before we do. Uh, looks like there hasn't been anything as of yet. Oh, that's basketball stuff. Um, but yeah, no, they, they haven't had a full response to it yet. So the SEC alleges that Binance and Zhao violated critical provisions of federal security laws, including self-dealing and market manipulation through Merit Peak Limited and Sigma Chain, both of which Zhao controlled and owned. Merit Peak, a British Virgin Islands-based company, was one of the earliest market makers on Binance. Sorry, I'm getting like a whole bunch of little tweets right now. Uh, probably because all this stuff was going down. All right. There we go. Uh, Merit Peak, a Virgin Islands-based company, was one of the earliest market makers in Binance U.S. platform. The SEC alleged Zhao is the company's beneficial owner. The complaint comes after the CFTC filed similar charges against the crypto exchange, alleging that it failed to prevent U.S. customers from accessing it. Uh, so it seems like the big basis for all of this, guys, and sorry for the bad camera quality as well, guys. My main camera, as I told you guys, is broken here, so I'm kind of in a weird mood today. Um... So basically what's happening is, I guess a lot of people were using VPNs to get on Binance. Um, now, I, I used to have a Binance account. I don't think I have access to it anymore because it was, um, how do you want to say? It's, um, you can't use the regular Binance.com anymore. You have to go through like the Binance US. You can see how sponsored at the top is Binance US, but right here is Binance.com. Um, so I'm guessing, see right here, it says Binance is unavailable in your country or region. I'm guessing the SEC wanted something more than this. So if I did a VPN like um, NordVPN or any of the VPN commercials that you guys see online these days, excuse me, what you guys are seeing right now is um, basically 
people using uh, VPNs to get around this, but Binance not doing any extra work to stop people. Or maybe even helping larger investors get to Binance from the United States so they have extra money or extra uh, money on their main Binance account. We'll have to see all this shakes out, but this is definitely not a good thing for the market. Um, it says the defendant showed a blatant disregard of federal law, the SEC alleged. The complaint included a high-level breakdown of Binance's ownership structure with Zhao and his holding vehicles allegedly controlling 100% of Binance and Binance U.S. various entities. Um, I want to try to make this full screen for you guys. I think you guys can see this a little bit. So you got in the bottom right here. There's nothing below Binance. Um, and this is as of January. Ooh, I don't know. Um, there's a little bit key down here. The two little stars, if you will, are that means as of January 31st, 2023. The first star, if you only, if it only has one, means as of October 18th, 2022. Uh, so that's you know last year a little bit. And then the director or indirect ownership is these lines here. Um, I don't know what the solid line means, uh, but we'll have to figure that out, I guess. But you can see Binance US down here at the bottom. Then it goes to BAM Trading Services. Then BAM Management US Holdings Inc. Then from here, it's 2022 seed investors, former employees, and equity available under 2021 equity plan. On the right-hand side, you have BAM Management Company uh, Limited. You got CPZ Holdings Limited. I guess that's that makes sense for CPZ. Uh, then you got Binance Holdings Limited over here, Sigma Chain, Merit Peak, Coin Market Cap, and then you got right here underneath Binance Holdings Limited, regular Binance. So there's a lot more stuff that uh, is messing with the Binance US, I guess. Then you got Zhao, and then uh, other Zhao-owned entities. So this is interesting, guys. Um, and I guess oh, this is breaking news as well. Apple reveals its new VR headset. Is there a picture of it? Oh, we can't play this because it'll it'll uh, cut cut off the stream here. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how this all shakes out, guys. Um, through 13 charges, we allege that Zhao and Binance entities engaged in extensive web of deceptions, conflict of interest, lack of disclosure, and uh, calculated evasion of law, and then Gary Gensel sent the release. So what is the release here? Um, so if I go over here to the SEC very fast... Not sector finance, SEC. Let me go over here very fast. Let's see. See if I can find this here. News press release. There we go. June fifth. Uh, there we go. All right. So I'm hoping to just to find the laws here, or better yet, guys, let's let's just make this easier for ourselves. Um. Yes. Oh, Loki. Sorry, guys. Loki's getting into a treat bag. He's not supposed to be in. Hold on one second while I yell very loudly. All right, come here. He stole the treat bag. Sorry about that. My mom is here today because my sister's getting back from um, South Korea today. And so she's upstairs dying her hair and everything because my grandma's going to pick her up and I'm um, watching the cat for a little bit. But look, I think Loki stole a treat bag. So I'm making sure he's being a good dog right now. Give me one second, guys. I'm, I'm just going to hide my face for a second and just go... Uh, Go find that, what do you call? So I'm going to put the price of NASDAQ over here. Let's go to Bitcoin. We can see how we're bouncing up a little bit right now um, after the initial shock. But we'll have to wait and see how this shakes out. Okay, so let me put this over here. I'll be right back in just a second, but I want to make sure my dog is not going to like overindulge in treats.
There we go. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Loki got into some treats and basically, not even treats. Excuse me. Um, he got into a a Jimmy Dean sausage thing. So I don't know how to explain it to you guys. So I had to track him down very fast. Jimmy Dean sausage. One of these. He got into one of these. And all that's left is like one little edge of it. So had to be careful with it. Make sure he didn't eat any of the plastic or like those little metal tips on the side. So that's why I had to be careful. So he's fine. He did eat a lot of sausage. Uh, I'll buy some more. But uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Whenever he gets into food or something like that, he can he can just be ravenous. Um, okay. Let's go over here very fast. Let's use one of the plugins for now. Let's go with the... Um, what are the, which plugin do I want to use? Link Reader? Probably Link Reader. Yeah, let's go over here to Link Reader. All right. And I spelled Binance. There you go. ChatGPT should help us out here, because uh, that, that looked like a lot of stuff they were alleging right here, a lot of stuff right here. So um, just so we have a clear idea of what they're talking about besides what we um, besides what we saw on um, CNBC, it'll be nice for ChatGPT to kind of list it down for us as well. And so far, Bitcoin is having a short-term reversal here. Um, stuff is coming down, but not as much as it was before, I guess you could say. Still kind of in a perilous spot, though. Um, you can see ICP is down 10%, GTC is down 11%, GALA is down 10 FTM is down 11 This is one of those things that it's very hard to figure out, guys, because... Um, how do I say? Uh, you're never expecting news like this, I would say, so be careful, okay? Now, um... Let's go over here. Okay. So this U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has charged Binance Holdings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With several security laws violations, the, the charges include operating unregistered national securities exchange, broker dealers, and clearing agencies. Okay. Unregistered, basically. Misrepresenting trading controls and oversight on the Binance.us platform. So trading controls and oversight. The unregistered offer and sale of Binance's own crypto assets, including an exchange token BNB, a stablecoin, BNB USD or BUSD, a certain crypto lending products as staking as a service program. All right. So what we're looking at right now, if we go over here to the markets, let's go take a look at BNB. BNB is down about eight and a half, almost nine percent, eight point seven, nine percent as the time I'm talking. Um, go over here to the weekly chart. You can see this is definitely taking a hit. Has it broken down? No, it hasn't broken down yet. You can still see we're on this um, higher low situation here. But you guys should be careful if you guys are taking any, any positions um, at this point in time, okay? Now, um, careful with it, but see how it goes. And hey, PHX, Loki's being a very bad dog, guys. This has been like the most stressful week ever. He broke my camera. I'm not mad at him. We went to the beach a couple times. It's, uh, my sister's been in South Korea. Uh, I've been having to help my mom out with a lot of stuff this week. And I've just like been stretched very, very thin. So uh, appreciate you keeping up with me. And I know I haven't been streaming as much, but like, a lot of family stuff to deal with. Um, you see stuff like ApeCoin. ApeCoin, after it had its really nice rise earlier in the year, um, or last year, I guess you could say, it's definitely been dying back down bit by bit. Um, but you are seeing as of now a little bit of a short-term um bottoming out we'll see if we continue to pummel here but since it's just kind of that initial news that initial news should kind of die off here and hopefully we can go a little bit higher we'll have to wait and see if we can have a pretty nice reversal or not you see uh, lower market cap coins like id token that's down about 17 percent arb um arbitrum token you know this is ethereum um that's down about eight percent pepe coin is down about 16 and a half percent um you know that thing just kind of flooded down here so any support that that had was just broken uh, anything else that's really coming down Luna's down quite a bit, but I mean this thing popped off yesterday. So what do you expect? Um, Luna right here popped off yesterday coming back down even more, you know, eh, it's okay Just because it did have such a crazy pop yesterday. I can kind of live with that um, The one thing that's going to be interesting here is what happens with um, Binance's token and what happens over the next few months because we all know that 
the the market stock market continues to go up here um and we just had this bad news come out with binance getting um sued by the sec we're gonna have to kind of wait and see and have it be a grinding game of what's going to be happening it's going to be unfortunate for a while guys but that's what we have to look uh look to and it's just not going to be pretty anytime soon and so here And hey, I'm game. Usually when stuff like this happens, bottom's in. Um, it, it was short term bottom can definitely be in right now. I took some longs here. We'll see what happens. By longs, though, we're definitely losing money at this point because I bought before we decided to break down there. Um, now, I was only doing $100 bets at 10x leverage, so it's not like I was betting a whole bunch of money here. But, um, you know, if it comes down 2%, that's 20% down. You know, so it is down a little bit right now. Um, Bitcoin going to 9K. What's going on, Michael? And hey, man. Um, I mean, I think last year we were kind of still thinking that Bitcoin could hit twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. So nine thousand isn't really out of the uh, ordinary there. If we do have a really bad type of event, though. Um, now, what's going on basically? If you guys are uh, new to the stream or you just guys are just kind of hopping in here, basically what's happening is uh, Bitcoin just not Bitcoin. Bitcoin's uh, yeah, you can say Bitcoin. Bitcoin's having a pretty rough day because the SEC just sued Binance. And they're alleging a whole bunch of things. If you guys uh, just missed it here, basically that Binance is operating unregistered national securities exchanges, broker dealers, and clearing agencies, misrepresenting trading controls and oversight on the Binance.us platform, and the unregistered offer and sale of Binance's own crypto assets, including the exchange token BNB, a stablecoin, Binance USD, or BUSD, a certain crypto lending product such as staking and a service program. See, the thing is like, there are so many things out there, so many exchanges that do staking. Like, I think every exchange has some form of staking. So this, and theoretically, they could try to target any exchange out there. I'm really just hoping, see, we're still so far away from it, that somehow during this next election, cryptocurrency becomes part of the discussion. That way we can get, uh, there can be a promise that we'll have a new SEC chair in there because... Gary Gensler is definitely not good for the cryptocurrency industry. And you can see it on days like this where everybody is freaking out. Um, the market's coming down. We're below $26,000 now. We were, we are still in this kind of downward trend. So nothing's really changed there. You know, it's not like anything crazy is happening. We're in downtrend. Right? Downtrend. However, you know, it um, we definitely uh, would not be in this exact dumpage so to speak if it wasn't for gary gensler going after binance now gary gensler may have um some facts that shed some light on this and i would love to see them and so binance may be doing some shady stuff it would not be the first exchange that has been doing shady stuff um you guys know that a lot of us don't use binance just because it's not available in the country there is binance us um i think a lot of people do use binance us um, so if you guys do use it, uh, heck, if you guys use KuCoin or any exchange in the United States now that has some type of staking, that's kind of, um, that's kind of worrisome, right? Uh, I think the majority of exchanges out there do have, uh, tokens that they sell themselves. Like we got BNB for Binance, KuCoin has their token, um, uh, BitGit has their token, um, Faradest doesn't have a token yet, but I'm sure they're going to make one. So all these exchanges have their own tokens. I don't know if every exchange has their own stable coin, but they all have their own tokens, which is going to be um, adding a lot of fear in the marketplace going forward, okay? And hey, Blue, what type of dog is it? Oh, my dog is a white German Shepherd. He's um, He's over here laying down pouting because he knows he's in trouble. Yeah, you're in trouble. Um, but he's just a white German Shepherd. But uh, he uh, he knows how to open the sensors of a garage, uh, not a garage. He knows how to open the, open the sensors of a um, of a garbage door. So he puts his nose up against it, wait for it to open up, and he sees if there's anything in there. Freaking smart dog. So sometimes we have to turn off the sensors. Uh, today my mom's uh helper is here instead of at her house, and so basically um she doesn't turn it off, which is fine. But yeah, sometimes Loki gets in there and it's like, ooh, what's there's some food in here. Let me steal it. And so I was able to hurry up and get it out, but I got to watch him to make sure he didn't eat anything he's not supposed to. Although I guess he didn't, but still, you you, you always got to be cautious after the dog eats something that's not supposed to. Um, I just cooked some of that earlier. I know why he did it. <laughs> Jimmy Dean sausage, it is very good. I have some um, 
Portuguese uh, sausage I got uh, from the meat shop the other day. Lambaguza, whatever it's called. I don't know, but it's some really nice sausage. But it's like a light breakfast sausage that you just kind of mix with your eggs. And hey, Max, how do you get that chat GPT to access a link? Um, when it comes to chat GPT, um, I've been in their beta program for a while and then they, they closed down the beta program for um, websites. And so they, as a gift for me joining the beta program, they let me get access to all these plugins. So normally what you're going to be looking for is access to the plugin. So if I were to reset all this out because I hate having so many conversations on the site, confirm clear res uh, conversations. Okay. So if I go over here to chat GPT four, when I first look at this, I can see default. So this is GPT four default, what normal G GPT four is. You got browse with Bing so I can search th online through Bing code interpreter alpha. Um, I don't use this. I do not know how to code. I suck at coding. I am not even going to try. And you got something over here called plugins. So then when you, when you guys click on plugins right here, I'm going to see this little button that pops up and it'll tell you guys what plugins you guys can enable. And if you guys want more plugins, you guys can go to the plugin store. Now, when I first started in plugins and now there's a bunch. Um, so if I go over here to all plugins, now there's like a number 34 before there was only like a one, two, but you got traders insights decode the latest technical analysis ideas from stocks uh, and Bitcoin from, uh, from top, maybe investors or something like that. So we can go over here and, do install for that one. That's new. I haven't even seen that one before. Um, Figlet, utility for converting strings uh, of text into ACLL fonts. There's lots of earthquake info, Kluke, show notes, playlist follow. Um, you know, create a playlist. I don't know. There's so much stuff you can do with it now. Yabble, um, I mean, page two is glowing. A schedule and send daily SMS uh, text messages, reminders, inspiration, helpers. That's kind of cool, especially for all of us like me who are stressed out all the time. Cloudflare Radar, Reflect Notes, Portfolios Lab, Stocks, ETFs, Funds, and Crypto Analysis, Historical Performance, Volatility Risk. Let's install that one as well. Crypto Jobs List. If some of you guys want to find a job in Web3, that might be something pretty cool here. Redfin for if you guys want to find a house. CT Criteria Parser. Um, yeah, basically a lot of stuff in here. Um, now, um, there's like stuff that you would never use like Turo. Search for your perfect Turo vehicle on your next trip. Nobody's using that. Um, however, you know, this is this is what makes it really cool as far as ChatGPT. Plugins are the future here. Um, now, you know, chat with PDF, Top Hat, I don't know, Instacart. You know, you can basically have it uh, buy you a recipe. Say, hey, I want to make blah, blah, blah for dinner tonight. Can you uh, list all the ingredients? And uh, if it's hooked up to your Instacart account, I guess it could buy it for you. I use Instacart every now and again. Um, you know, wish bucket on unified product search across all Korean platforms and brands. <laughs> you know what? There's just so much stuff. SEO assistance, assistance uh, coupons by Tenere, crafty clues, clinical trial radar, uh, deploy script, giga tutor. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do, but basically it's all within the plugin store. If you can go for the installed, I have AI ticker chat, Expedia, kayak, link reader, traders, insight, SEO app, portfolios, lab portfolios, pilot, popular um basically you know everything you're looking for here there's a lot of stuff um but yeah i mean there's just so much so much to do when it comes to plugins on chat gpt um then you can ask it a question and it'll use the uh, it'll use the uh, plugins that you want to one of the cool ones here is wolfram um wolfram i guess is how you pronounce it i like to call it wolf, wolf yeah whatever um this takes your data and it put turns it into charts which I think is really, really cool. Um, I don't use it too often, but when I do use it, it's kind of helpful just to kind of see what the data is telling me. Um, I can put on some other ones here, like the Portfolios Lab, the Link Reader, and the Traders Insight. It may be cool to kind of look up some Bitcoin data, but I don't know how to use it yet. I would have to go over here to uh, watch a video on how to use Portfolios Lab or Link Reader, not Link Reader, I know that one, or Portfolio Pilot and kind of figure out what's going on here. Um, but it, it is interesting to kind of use all these plugins on ChatGPT. But I don't know exactly how I got it. I got it. For, like, I don't know exactly how somebody that wasn't in the beta program would actually get it. They gave it to me as a gift for helping them out and giving them a dad and kind of writing a small report saying, hey, here's what I like. Here's what I don't like and stuff like that. Um, and it was kind of a gift that I got from their Slack group. But the Slack group has been terminated as of I know, uh, as far as I know now. Um, but. Yeah. Get, uh, give it some time and if you don't have the plugins yet you should be fine but if you guys are paying for gpt plus um make sure you're on the list to get plugins you should uh register for the the, the
the waiting list for plugins. If there is still a waiting list, there might not be. Um, but you can see this says beta, alpha, beta. Sometimes it just has default. I don't even use GPT-3 anymore, although GPT-4 does still have that cap of 25 messages every three hours. Um, so if you guys want to do something that's very, you know, intensive, GPT-3. But if you guys, you know, are okay with going slow and kind of thinking about what you want to do as far as um, AI stuff, GPT-4 is really the best place to be at this point. And a joker, um, B and B is approaching your buy range at two sixty nine. Oh, let's see right here. I just saw B and B and B. Um, because when I saw this happening, I thought something was going on with the dollar. And your buy range is two sixty nine. It's getting there. I mean, you see that support level over here. We still got a little bit of time. It can go down as far as two sixty four. But buying up a little bit ahead of that, it's always a nice place. You don't have to worry about actually getting into that position but not even close to breaking down. This did have a breakdown a few weeks ago or a few days ago, excuse me. But um, yeah, it was a while ago. Um, and so far that breakdown seems to have worked out, but you know, it wasn't what you would call a solid breakdown. We kind of went down, it came back up. We saw the trend die off here, this uptrend die, and then all of a sudden we're coming back down. But again, uh, we were already gonna be coming back down, it looks like as far as the moving averages, but this is fairly uh, just a big dump. Now we're coming back to the time of that banking crisis that we had just a few months ago, and that's kind of where BNB is settling. If we go over here and take a look at the dollar index, the dollar index of going to weekly chart, it's kind of been stagnant the last couple of weeks, right? We've been hoping that this thing would come back down, therefore Bitcoin would find a way to go back up. But right now, it's kind of just staying steady. They're not going up, which is good for us, but it's also not coming back down as fast as we would want it to, because when it comes back down like this, we're usually looking at some really good times for uh, the cryptocurrency markets and just the financial markets in general. Uh, we're not seeing that just yet, but hopefully we'll see something good. And right now, as far as the weekly chart, you guys can see that everything is breaking down. We've been here before like three times. Uh, this is the third time, excuse me. Hopefully we can find a way to bounce back up. That's what we're really looking for here. But basically just waiting to see if there's enough buyers here to buy us back up because everybody's afraid that, um, let's go back over to the four so we can just kind of see this in totality. Um, everybody's afraid that we might keep on falling or there might be another uh, announcement. Hopefully the SEC is not going to um, uh, Hopefully the SEC is not going to keep on suing other exchanges. That'd be a really bad sign for all of us here Let's See and hey Daniel good morning, uh, Michael. What's going on with atomic wallet got hacked? I do not know but I'll check for that you check for that uh, in just a second and hey, bide for definitely an insane day definitely definitely an insane day at work so I'm basically listening to you hope you hope work is going very very well Bideford Loki is a gorgeous spoiled sweet dog that loves his human daddy and has Mike wrapped around his fingers yes he does um I don't know where he is right now but right now um he's just happy to uh, get some free sausage I got him kielbasa treats and he's been loving those but um it's it's been a while since he got into the garbage can to try to eat something uh, for those of you guys that don't know, when he was a puppy, and I mean like, I don't know, maybe like 30, 40 pounds or something like that, you know, small, small. Um, he once, uh, when my cleaning lady was cleaning out my Thanksgiving food, he snuck into the uh, the fridge while she wasn't looking and took a whole drumstick leg and ate the whole thing whole. And so it pretty much gave me a heart attack for like a few, like like a week and a half while I waited for it to pass through his system because it was a whole freaking turkey bone, right? Um, so he was perfectly fine. That didn't have any issues whatsoever, but I was still terrifying to me. So I always make sure that he, uh, I I'm monitoring him. If he ever eats something he's not supposed to, cause he gets raw meat. Like he has, a uh, in my fridge, he has uh, about five pounds of stew meat that he could have at any point. So frozen stew meat now, but you thought so like a pound of it at a time, stew meat, toss him biggest, best treats he'll ever have. Then he has like regular dog treats that you buy that are overpriced and crap, but you know, but yeah, he's, he's doing pretty well. Um, and hey, Blue, very smart dogs, very, very smart dogs. He's testing me all the time now, and he's getting in trouble for it. Uh, now, if he wants to go outside, he has to... Um, I open the door from the garage, you know, the side door of the house. Um, I open the door. He has to sit down and wait for three seconds before I let him go out. If he sneaks outside or he gets too energetic and bounces outside, he realizes it right away. He sulks back, and then he sits down, and I do one, two, three, go. And then he'll run out and then chase a bird or uh, a bunny, whatever is outside. Um... But yeah, I'm I'm training him a lot more now, and he he's liking the training because he gets little treats and stuff. But at the same time, he's pushing the boundaries because he's always um, you know how dogs get when they're really excited. Sometimes they just get they start shaking because they're like they're ready, they're ready, they're ready. I think it's just because he's still a pup, but he's like he's ready, ready, ready to go running and blitzing around. 
And hey, Joker, keep in mind the U.S. government still has a gang of Bitcoin to sell. Yeah, I'm wondering how that's going to work because I feel like if they sold that Bitcoin and they uh, and they 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 hit the markets and they what do we want to call it? the markets plummeted because of it. I feel that um, I feel that how do I say this? I feel like they would be like the government could be sued because of it because in their in their reasoning bitcoin is a security right so they're selling a security and manipulating the price of an asset um and i feel like you know yeah i feel like that really that would manipulate the, manipulate the price enough for somebody to sue them on the other hand i'd prefer if somebody just came along and said hey we will buy that bitcoin off of you uh for pennies on the dollar of course but we'll buy some of that bitcoin off of you and I would, I would, I'd rather the government sell the Bitcoin like that instead of trying to go all gung ho on everybody and just like dump it. I was trying to find the link. There was uh, supposed to be a trial update sometime in June. Oh, that'd be interesting. There, I don't, I don't pay attention much to Chat GPT anymore. I should. I've been just so busy the past weeks. Like guys, um, I, like I've been sleeping a lot because I've been doing a lot, and so I have been able to kind of check out everything I want to here. But uh, I'm hoping that CZ has an update here. Do we have anything else? Oh, 23 seconds ago. Oh, and 18 minutes ago. Okay, we got responses here. Um, okay. Okay, so let's just look at the Binance's response to what's going on here. Justin Sun has been offered to buy all of it. Oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, so yeah, there are people out there that want to buy it. So, um, oh my God, you guys are not going to be able to see this at all. So I know my head's blocking part of it because I got this crappy camera now since my main camera is broken here, but let's kind of go over this just a little bit and kind of see what the vibe is as far as how they're going to respond. Okay. So this is Binance's reply to the SEC suing them over alleged uh, misconduct, basically. So. We are disappointed that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission chose to file a complaint today against Binance seeking, among other remedies, purported emergency relief. From the start, we have actively cooperated with the SEC's investigations and have worked hard to answer their questions and address their concerns. Most recently, we have engaged in extensive good faith discussions to reach a negotiated settlement to resolve their investigations. But despite our efforts with its, with its complaint today, the SEC abandoned that process and instead chose to act un, unilaterally and, uh, uh, and litigate. Hmm. We are disheartened by that choice. While we take the SEC's allegations seriously, they should not be subject to, of an SEC enforcement action let alone on an emergency basis. We intend to defend our platform vigorously. Unfortunately, the SEC refusal to productively engage with us is just another example of the commission's misguided and um, cautious refusal to provide much needed clarity and guidance to the digital asset industry. Uh, conscious refusal, excuse me. Today's action is another in a line of examples where, uh, as with other crypto projects facing similar suits, the commission has determined to regulate with the blunt weapons of enforcement and litigation rather than the thoughtful, nuanced approach demand demanded by this dynamic and complex technology. Unilaterally labeling certain tokens and services as securities, even ones over which the United States authorities have asserted jurisdiction, only compounds these problems. Perhaps most surprisingly, the SEC's actions undermine America's role as a global hub for financial innovation and leadership. Digital asset laws remain largely undeveloped in much of the world, and regulation by the enforcement is not the best path forward. An effective regulatory framework demands collaborative, transparent, and thoughtful policy engagement, a path the SEC has abandoned. Um, okay, and this basically goes on to say everything else, everything they said is wrong, um, they're doing everything by the book. It seems based on these developments, the SEC goal here was never to protect investors. If that were the, truly the case, the staff would have thoughtfully engaged us on the facts and our efforts to demonstrate the safety and security of Binance US platform. So it looks like um, we're going to see a big court battle here. I don't know exactly when we're going to have more updates on this. Um, we're going to probably have a trial date, but that this is going to be a grinding type of trial, guys. It's not going to be some type of trial that like lasts like a month or two months. This may this may last a whole year. This is going to be um just a hindrance for a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there. I imagine the Fed is going to dump it all, then buy it back cheaper, so they can't be uh, messed with for own the confiscated Bitcoin. 
I, I hope you're wrong there, but I don't really have much faith in the government, especially after doing this. And it kind of shows you, like, there are tons of uh, Republicans and Democrats, really both sides of the aisle here, who are very upset with um, Gary Gensler and his approach to cryptocurrencies because they all kind of know it's not... Um, what he's doing is not all that logical. And you've seen it in some of the hearings out there where they're just like, what are you doing, man? Like, why? And then he can't answer the question. Like, is Bitcoin a security? You know, you can't answer it. He, he doesn't, he can't answer it. So um, it, it's just going to add to more f drama and more um, more of people freaking out, I would say, over the next few uh, months. Now, um, this hasn't really, I mean, this has kind of hurt Bitcoin, as you guys can see, but it's not like Bitcoin is... Um, breaking any really crazy technicals we've been here before you guys can see there is some issues at this point but um basically let me go over here very fast um basically you know we're still in this overall range if you're bullish you're still hoping for a breakout here if you're bearish you're waiting for a breakdown that brings us back down here to twenty three thousand twenty four thousand dollars but um we're still kind of in that middle zone at this point on this particular pattern, though, we're towards the low point. So, again, you most likely are going to see people buying up at these zones, kind of like what you just saw right here. But we'll have to wait and see if we continue to come down even more or if we have a full-throated reversal here after the news is kind of absorbed. Because right now, we've had about, what is this? Um, one, two, three, four. I got, maybe I should just go over here to the hour chart. Yeah, we just have about two hours almost of got coming down. Uh, the four hour chart, you know, we've come down here for like the last eight hours, looks like two overall, uh, a few hours actually, maybe a day or so. Um, we'll have to see how much worse this thing can get, I would say. But definitely this news is going to um, cause some concern over the, uh, the, the, the general market here. Okay, let's go over here very fast. The last time the government wallets moved was around 3723, so I assume they'd start dumping the last month of each quarter, which would be any day right now. Oh, that would suck. Uh, that would really be a damper right now because we're seeing, like, just today, guys, Ape Token is down about 15% right now. Uh, BNB is down 8. Chili's is down 5. Crow Corn is only down 2.5, which isn't bad. Sheba is down about 6. Doge Coin is down about 8.5. So you're seeing a lot of uh, breakdowns right now. The Fed could dump around 30k Bitcoin and load back up around oh, around 30k and load back up around 15 to 20k, pretty much double their holdings. So I just I, I wonder why they want to hold Bitcoin though, uh, probably just as a control feature because we have noticed that a lot of governments around the world have been thinking more and more about buying into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because everybody is thinking about a way to de-dollarize. Uh, and to be frank, you know America does abuse its dollar as far as how we treat other countries with it but um it's not like these countries that want to de-dollarize i think is the way it's called now it's not like that process is easy by any stretch of the imagination it's going to take years and you're seeing things like over the past few weeks you've seen BRICS countries getting together you've seen them actually thinking about getting more members in there we're starting to get uh riled up about the dollar here and uh people are looking for another alternative I don't exactly know what the alternative is going to be because most stable coins that we use, they're all pegged to a dollar. Um, you know, the US dollar. How is everything going to operate going forward um, if there is this much, um, what do you want to say? If there's this much problems coming from the SEC, let's just call it that. To control the world? Yeah, but... Guys, in my opinion, like, you know, as much as I love America, and I do love America, um, we've kind of been going on a decline. Um, you know, I mean, there's a few books you guys can read about the subject as far as, like, how countries come and fall. I think there's a video online, YouTube, of Ray Dialio. I think he has a pretty, it's a pretty decent video, I would say. Kind of opens up your eyes a little bit, but most people kind of have a understanding of that type of stuff in the beginning. Um... America is kind of on the decline. It doesn't mean we're going to be going into some type of dark age or something like that, but it means our global hegemony is kind of coming down even a bit. I mean, for heaven's sakes, even the French are saying, like the French are saying, hey, um, we we don't need to be as reliant on America. We can do our own deals without them, you know? And that's because we ticked them off by, by stealing the submarine deal, I think, with Australia or something. So, you know, it comes back to bite you in the butt. Um, 
Biden did something sneaky with his <laughs> with the military. He he stole a a, a a a submarine contract with I think that it was Australians or New Zealanders or something like that. And um, France was ticked, pissed off, uh, rightfully so, I guess. But it was like, oh geez, um, you forget about how this stuff comes out and bites us in the butt. Um, and even Germany's in a recession now. Um, but America, to a certain degree, is in a, in a state of decadence. So um, you know we have a lot of wealth here. But at the same time, we kind of have this weird extreme poverty going on. I think it kind of depends on where you're living. So when I was living in Bozeman, Montana, there really wasn't too much poverty, I would say. There's poor people, but there's not like there's... Uh, heck, I was a poor person in Montana. Um, but it's not like there's a lot of homelessness. But if you come over here to Seattle or Portland or LA or San Francisco, kind of the places I, I would frequent on the West Coast, because um, I am on the West Coast... Um, you definitely see a lot of homeless people on the streets and you kind of see that that crazy disparity where somebody's paying like three to four thousand dollars for an apartment and as soon as they walk out of their nice building homeless people everywhere it's a very weird prospect to kind of um rationalize but we've rationalized it very well if i think so um so you know america isn't gonna like crumble or any of that we're just in this decline where our our words don't matter as much and it kind of depends on how you view the world like i think the west as far as like europe they didn't like us too much during the trump years even though i guess you could say in a hindsight now trump was correct about not um getting too reliant on russian oil um bust bolstering up the defense budgets to meet their two percent gdp quotas that type of stuff he was right about that um but then you know uh and then you know Maybe Russia liked us a little bit more. Maybe China liked us a little bit more. I don't know if they would say like us or we just cooperated more. Uh, Middle East was kind of doing pretty well, kind of, you know, digging along. I think they're kind of still doing well after that Abraham Accords, which I didn't even know was about. Um, then you had kind of Joe Biden come in here. And I won't say he is like a terrible president, but his foreign policy has been... Um, for whatever reason... Global powers seem to think he's a much easier uh, person or uh, America is much easier to target or go, go up against when he's in office. So let's try to be nice there uh, to Joe. Um, and, you know, that that's causing some um, that's causing some issues here going forward, I guess you could say. Right. Um, but again. We'll wait all this out. We'll see how everything kind of pans out from the global stage, but. We are in a little bit of a decline, and one of the reasons I am moving out of the country, we kind of just keep on getting into this weird spiral, and I'm pretty sure no matter if you're Democrat or Republican, uh, the establishment always wins. I think that's what we just saw with this bill here the few days ago. Um, I think the progressives hated it, and the Freedom Caucus hated it, um, and those are usually the two people that, um, like the Bernie supporters and the Trump supporters, I guess you would say, or maybe they're just Santa supporters now. I have no freaking idea the way this uh, polit political season is uh, gearing up. And hey, Ken, um... Right now, basically, uh, the SEC just sued Binance, and that's where you're seeing this big dump over the last few hours. It is some really big news here, um, but everything is pretty much coming back down. Some of my longs just got annihilated here, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But um, what do you call? Be careful if you guys are trying to enter the market right now. It is going to be a little bit jumpy. Now, me, I would be buying at this spot, just like I said, but at the same time, you don't know if there's going to be more announcements coming out. This could really start to get ugly here if more announcements come out. Like maybe what happens if KuCoin is uh, messing up, Crypto.com, uh, Bitgid, or, you know, all these companies. I don't even think Bitgid's in the United States anymore, but you know, any of these problems, it it, it could um it could lead to some really bad things in the future here, guys. The whole world is in a weird transition period. Yes, but transition periods are usually where you can build your wealth. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to move to Latin America and start up a business, you know, do my YouTube stuff down there, but also let my money be kind of used to grow the economy down there. Um, I thought about doing it up here, but there's just too much red tape and regulation to start a business. I have a few friends that are business owners over here and they just, I, I never hear anything positive. I just don't hear anything good. Like the taxes are too high. Um, you know, um, electricity is too high, people breaking into buildings, bashing glass. I don't want to deal with it. So if you guys ever come down to the city, I don't know if you guys, wherever you guys' cities are, um, something I've been noticing is kind of weird is a lot of businesses have been leaving the downtown areas. 
And, you know, normally downtown is the thing that's popping. So you go to Nordstrom's or Macy's or whatever. Um, I still go to Nordstrom's, I guess. But um, maybe once in a blue moon, I guess. Um, a lot of the smaller retailers, they're kind of all leaving the city. I don't know where they're going. Um, the, like, you know, they're not really moving to the suburbs because they're too expensive for the suburbs. Like, it's the quality of goods is too expensive. Um, so we're kind of just seeing kind of a... a yeah, you, you are correct. A weird transitionary period happening right now from a global standpoint and just from an American standpoint. I've never seen America like this. Again, I'm only 28 years old, though, so I, it's not like I've been through like, multiple recessions or anything. Uh, I was a kid when the la during the last one. But it just seems so odd to see um, how we're trying to deal with all these things. Uh, it just seems, you know, we should just give Zelensky all of our Bitcoin and just say that's enough money for, for now. Um Binance has employed so many ex-IRS workers from the USA. This feels like a publicity stunt. I mean, it's Gary Gensler. It, it most, it probably is, but it's going to go to court and it's going to last a long time. And every time there's good news, it may cause Bitcoin to pump up a little bit. When there's bad news, it may cause Bitcoin to kind of come back down a little bit here. Uh, but you can see right now, Bitcoin is still coming back down, maybe to support levels around here. Um, but definitely, definitely not the best of days for us in the, uh, the crypto markets at all. And Andrew, about to be safe, I pulled mine off KuCoin. Yeah, what do you call it? I mean, it makes it to this point. My grandparents moved to Ecuador and lived like kings until my grandpa died. Beachfront condo on less than what I was paying for rent in Florida. You got the right idea, Mike? Yeah, I mean, you know, personally, guys, uh, I'm I'm really happy to move and just get out of here. Like, I like America. I'll be visiting all the time. I'll be visiting Vegas all the time like I'm visiting Vegas next month. Um, but when it comes to, you know... Um, When it comes to uh, renting a place in Ecuador, you know, let's go over here. Let's say I want to, um, let's just, I want to buy a house. I don't even know if I want to buy a house. I may just rent a nice place. It, it all kind of depends, right? Um, I'll probably buy a place since I want to go down there for a while and I can always sell it down later down the road. But um, I just want an interior area that's 150 meters or larger, 100 meters squared. Now I need to do one thing, view type, city view, no, beach view, ocean view, search. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't put it in a place. So let's go over here to Salinas. This is probably where I would live. Or that or Manta, I guess. But it all kind of depends. Okay. $260,000 gets you an apartment like this with a nice little view. Uh, all Everything comes like so that it's a furnished house. You know. Is it the best property ever? No, but would I stay here? Yes, for $26,000? Oh my gosh, yeah. View the city, view the water. You know, I could replace anything I don't like, right? So, you know, it's decent. Uh, I'd probably buy something a little bit different, but at the same time, guys, it's like, it's, it's something that I'd really enjoy moving to. Let's see. And a joker. Definitely, and I feel like there's going to be a discovery phase, but I don't know how this whole trial is going to pan out. It's going to be, um, because remember guys, I think, wait, it's, uh, it's currently June, right? Yeah, June 5th. In October, we have the FTX trial going on. That's what I think everybody's going to be looking at. As far as this, um, Binance, when I do think you're right, we're probably going to see them kind of control the narrative as far, uh, and the, some of the markets here by putting out good news, bad news. And it's going to it's going to be annoying because it's going to uh, cause a lot of volatility that we don't really need. I like to have the organic volatility where we break out and everybody buys in at one time makes my life a lot easier as a trader. This show is going to continue weeks as people start investigating bad news. Long red. Um, we'll have to see. I know my fear is right now is that Bitcoin's already headed down right now. And if we get, we stay on this trajectory, which we have a few, we have a while before we have, we get into trouble here because, uh, we're on a weekly chart right now. If you want to go over, look at the weeklies, this is the four hour. We're currently broken down below both the, um, the 200 and the 20. If we end up, um, Closing down below this, it'll be a really big pain for everybody. If we can muster the strength to get back up here, that'd be some really good news. But at this point, you guys want to be very careful if you guys are buying right now. 
Um, you know, I'm buying again with those $100 um, 10x leverage plays right around here, a little bit actually above this before we actually had the big plummet. So like maybe around here, 26,300, 400. But take it easy if you guys are, um, you know, and now again, Bitcoin still hasn't found that nice level of support. We're trying to find it, but we're just getting edged down bit by bit by bit. I'm hoping that it doesn't like tear us a new one here. Let's go back over to the four hour chart. There we go. And hey, Aram, uh, basically the SEC is suing Binance, and that's the big bad news for the day. The overall market isn't actually doing that bad. If you go over here to the SPY, the SPY is heading for resistance. The NASDAQ is heading for resistance up here, but it's still a while away. The NASDAQ is doing just fine. The Dow Jones is still going sideways here, but it did have a small breakout, um, but not nothing too bad here. You know, Bitcoin, uh, you know, Dogecoin, ADA, Matic, getting all slammed here, BNB, Chili's. Everything getting slammed. Like Chili's, uh, Chili's is uh, down six percent, but at one point it was down like sixteen percent. So we're having a little bit of a rebound here as far as altcoins, a little bit of, as far as Bitcoin as well. But we're just trying to figure that that solid support level so we can have a rebound because most likely it's going to rebound back up here and then maybe come back down. But um, definitely causing some panic right now amongst a lot of investors, a lot of investors right now. So we're hoping that it can find some support because right now five minute chart is finding a little bit. You got that? Oops, you got that? Um. Go to let's get rid of this. There we go. You're seeing that higher low, but we're really trying to hold this higher low. We don't want to start breaking down below that. You know, then we start coming down to test 25,300 or so. That could be really uh, bad, so to speak. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's go back to the four hour. The four, I think, it just shows you a pretty good idea of what's been happening over the past few days, which is why I'm staying on this one. Um, and hey, Aram. Oh, yeah, I I've been hearing about the Apple conference. If you guys want to check this out here, I think if I go over here to explore, I think it should be on by now. I wanted to check it out a little bit earlier. Kyrie, uh, Cornell West. Who's Cornell West? He's, oh, that guy, the crazy dude. Okay. Dear Lord. Okay, this is going to be a crazy political cycle. Seattle. Sorry, guys, I'm getting off, off topic. Oh, uh, fentanyl overdose in Seattle. Surprise, surprise. Oh, God. I hate what's happening. I, I don't know how to fix the drug problem, but I really hope the government could just get tough on it. Mike Pence. Where the heck is uh, Apple? Apple should be trending. Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> oh, there's Apple. Geez, at 22. How is Marshawn Lynch more popular than Apple? Apple shares hit an all-time high. That's good for my bank account. Uh, But what is this new thing? What's the technology? Uh, what's it called? Apple VR? So let's talk. Can you guys hear this? About what's new. This is Quest 3, our most advanced right. headset yet. Sorry, wrong door. So let's talk about what's new. This is Quest 3, our most advanced right. headset yet. Sorry, wrong door. Oh. Oh, jeez. My this is so loud. Test, 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 test. Oh, there we go. So I can still hear my voice, but it's not like 100%. All right, um, maybe this is it? Uh, this might be it right here. I'm not entirely sure. I would love to have something like this to work with. Okay, I don't know if this is really the Apple thing, but this seems like it'd be pretty freaking awesome to actually see something like this uh, happen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Why do they have to look like an iPhone that just got stretched out? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited to see what Apple has. Am I buying this? No, there's no way I'm buying it at this price point because I think it's going to be like over a thousand bucks or something like that. But um, I am excited to see what it uh, what it looks like here. Uh, and maybe if I was a large enough streamer, I can get uh, a freebie or something like that. But <laughs> not anytime soon. Um, 
and hey david uh just learning how to and what to pay attention to when it comes to bitcoin so much rig stuff going on yeah um oh no mr joker actually just told you right there dollar cost averaging is the safest way to go um if you guys aren't used to trading um you know be careful heck i just got burned on some longs i did a few minutes ago and i'm hoping they can kind of come back up and give me some profit here but um you know trading comes with risk and you guys have to just be aware of that um always always be aware that there is going to be some risk here as far as trading is concerned and then if you guys want to have the best opportunity to make money in the long run which i think what a lot of you guys are doing um you guys are going to be um how do i say you guys are going to be dollar cost averaging, but also choosing coins that you guys think are going to do well in the long term. Usually the ones that I recommend or, you know, as far as I, as far as I can recommend, because I, I'm not a financial guru or financial uh, advisor, whatever you want to call them. Um, I always just like to buy a Bitcoin in the thin because those two have been going strong for years. Um, it's the simple stuff. And as I own that stuff honestly disclosure wise whatever um but i don't think me owning it uh has enough power to push up the price or crash the price which i'm happy to say <laughs> um you know uh, so stuff like that um but yeah so give it some time everybody we're gonna have to wait for this one to um bleed itself out so to speak because this story is going to be on for a while see that hallway is creepy <laughs> apple reality, uh, reality pro is some new ar hype they have um yeah that that the the new the new thing that they've been working on here it, it should be interesting i really want to see it but that hallway yeah it was kind of weird it reminds me of it reminds me of that one um video game or a youtube series called back rooms where it's just a whole bunch of back rooms and people get lost in it there's the meta quest right here Oh, Meta Facebook unveils a powerful new VR headset just days before Apple's expected announcement. I mean... I feel like... See, when I see Metas, it looks like it's more for gaming, right? All I see right now is games, 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 like clear, sharper visuals, games, games, games. I feel like Apple is going to have some type of application, maybe? Because I'm looking at this, and... You know, you see how the Apple one kind of had the, um, yeah, see, this is, oh, that's actually pretty cool to play games like that. Not going to lie. Um, but what do you call it? It feels like Apple has, um, how do I want to, how do I want to say it? What's that vibe I'm getting from Apple? Look, it can be used for work as well. It's not just play. It's work and play. Um, uh, everything in here looks like play. Apple looks like it can be used for everyday type of events, but, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see code new words. Nothing in here. Okay, nothing in there. The rumor is a $3,000 VR headset. Let me go over here very fast. Apple. And it gets in a stock. Apple is going for more AR and business application. But I, yeah, I think I, I agree with that 100%. I like that over just gaming. Uh, metaverse is going for those games and social metaverses like the metaverse is awesome but like there needs to be more there if that makes sense uh i tried to play some metaverse games and i just i didn't understand what was going on i had a, a very very hard time using them um air pause uh, they don't have it yet they don't have it on the website yet support store Ah, oh, be right back. We're making updates to the Apple Store. Check back soon. So you're probably going to be able to pre-order this um, after the event is over. So we can Fanless go over here. Fanless design for... runs completely silent. With all yes, these yeah, great features in the new Air, it's the only 15-inch laptop that has it all. 15 if this laptop, is your first so Mac, you'll enjoy how easy it is to set up and use. And once you start using it, you'll see how seamlessly it works with iPhone. So you can I do love things their like buildings copy something the on your phone and paste beautiful. it with your Mac using Universal Clipboard. Or pick up where yeah. you left off on a thread and message. All right, we'll come back to this if they go, go back to the AR headsets and stuff like that, the virtual reality stuff. Um, I am curious to see how this stuff plays out. Apple is more about productivity. I think they've always been more about productivity than... Uh, 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 What's his name? Um, Zuckerberg. 
Uh, what's it then? Hey, Arx Crypto Mining, happy to see you back, man. Hey, Tops for Doge, own the Doge. What do you call it? Dogecoin had a really rough day today. Um, like everything else, it got hit pretty hard. It's down about 8% right now. Having a nice rebound, it popped down almost to what, 0 0.063 pretty much. Um, rebounding quite a bit here. Again, you can see everything's trying to rebound at this point, even Bitcoin, but we're kind of waiting to see if it actually does rebound or not. Um, definitely some scary moments here on the last few hours or so. Um, let's go right here. Yeah, Bitcoin's still trying to hold on here. I would say the 15 minute is probably what I'm looking at. I want to see us glide for the next few hours and boom back up. We still have a few hours left until the market closes though, so maybe uh, we'll see something that good there. Anything else happening here? Oil's bouncing back up a little bit. OPEC meeting this week didn't really do much as far as what we've been hoping for. Eh, still bouncing around that level, so nothing too crazy. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. So it seems that big news is Binance. Okay, let's get back over here to Bitcoin. Four hour chart. There we go. All right. And hey, Bardis, crypto does, does suck today a lot after this news came out, especially with the M2 chip. I No, I don't have any Mac products besides an iPhone and maybe an old iPad. But I've heard that um, that M2, for my friends that have the new MacBooks and stuff, it is incredibly useful. It is like in just incredible product. Uh, Mac, the new MacBook, they said it's like amazing, the best thing they've ever owned. So, um, and you know, they're YouTubers, so they need it for a lot of stuff. It seems to be working perfectly for them. And also in a laptop, right? I have to use a big old hunk of desktop and you know, the fans and the, the cooling equipment for gaming, all that stuff. Um, Mac is definitely very useful when it comes to editing and stuff, probably more, uh, more better than my expensive freaking computer. Anyway, when puts on Apple, uh, let me let me just drag this over here to make my life easier because whatever reason, that's not the monitors aren't moving the way I want them to be. Um, let's see what the hedge funds are doing very fast. Oops. Okay. No. Uh. There you go. All right. So this is the latest flow here. Ten eleven. Okay. There's really not many puts in the last few minutes or so. Um, and I guess probably um, that's because all this big news is coming out. They might have a little bit of a die down tomorrow, I guess, is what people may be doing. But right now, the price of Apple is 184, all time highs for Apple. I mean, this thing's probably going to chug up a little bit more. Um, no, wait, what am I looking at here? There we go. So we got 616 calls, 616 calls, 69 calls, 180, 182, 185. Wow, these things are going up. This is from 656 in the morning too. So at this point, like let's look at this very fast. Charts. Yeah, they bought it 278. Right now it's at 371. They're, these guys are printing money right now, printing money. Uh, now as far as puts are concerned, uh, let's try to find some puts here. Okay, there's one. Oh, geez, stop moving. Okay, there we go. This is a 6.9. So this is for this Friday 2.10 put. So this is um, this is already in the money. So you're not really worrying about this. I think they're just looking to open up some shorts here because it's at 2, what, yeah, 2.10. There's no way Apple's getting to 2.10. So this, um, this in the money put isn't really going to be uh, useful to you. Uh, in fact, it's probably already lost money, but they're probably going to... um. They're going to most likely, um, uh, I forgot the term right now for some reason. Um, they're going to, they're going to use these and it, they bought it at 2655 and right now it's at 2564. So it's come down a little bit, but not a lot. Any other puts here? Why, uh, it's glitching so much right now, guys, because I also, it's getting new data because this thing is having a lot of, um, a lot of, um, trades on it right now. Apple 630 puts for 180, we're at 184. This may be something, but those are pretty expensive calls. 264, 267. And they bought it this morning. So they bought it at 267 and right now it's at 236. They're definitely losing some value at this point. And Apple continues to uh, continue moving up higher and higher. It, yeah, these guys are just hoping for something in the long run here because there was no technical reason to buy this, at least on the, today, the daily chart. There you go. Yeah, but let's go over to the five minute chart. Apple's going to all time highs here, all time highs. People are probably having a, a, a blast with it right now. Oh, let's see right here. Break a structure, break a structure. Yeah. 
Apple's going up right now, guys. It's just tearing everything out, tearing the shorts a new one here. And hey, PHX, um, as far as crypto exchanges that I'd be using right now, it's really all what, it's all depends on what is available in your area. Right now, I've been using Faradesk a lot. They're a sponsor of the channel, that, just to let you know. But um, it seems like the SEC is going after anybody. So I'm kind of cautious about just giving off exchange names right now because I just don't know if the next day they're going to say, hey, um, BitGage, don't use BitGage. They have securities because they sell their own token, like the BGB token. Faradis doesn't have its own token yet, but I know they want to and they, they have everything geared up. They're just waiting for the better uh, market environment, I think. Um, but hmm. right now, I mean... There's always KuCoin. I haven't had any issues with them so far, but there's that fear going on right now that maybe they'd be the next one to be hit after um, Binance, of course. Um, outside the United States, there's BitGit, there's Femex, there's ByteBit. Um, EarnBit is a new one that I'm talking with them, but they're not something I would say you guys should go forward right now. Um, EarnBit, I may be um, an advisor for them here pretty soon. What they're trying to do is something that I like a lot. Think of the TradeZing who I'm advising right now. Um, they're trying to have their own YouTube, YouTube, uh, streaming service or video service where, um, I stream with you guys and I go long live on stream and stuff like that, but you guys could copy my streams if you wanted to, where if I bought, it will say, Hey, like buy five shares of Apple. Like Michael's buying five shares of Apple or Michael's buying this option. You can buy this option, stuff like that. Um, and so it'd be integrated into your Robinhood or Webull accounts. EarnBit is trying to do something similar. It's in beta, so I wouldn't recommend signing up right now. They're kind of in that new stages where they, they have a whole bunch of funding, but they're trying to work their way through uh, regulations, which honestly are something that's very, very tough to work yourself through regulations. Um, but, um, you know, they're working on something similar where I can be streaming with you guys and we could be trading together and trying to figure out how this all works out, uh, you know, how, um, how the trades are doing together, I guess you would say. But yeah, we'll see how this works out. Anything, uh, anything but Coinbase? And hey, Bridus, uh, anything but Coinbase? Yeah, Coinbase, uh, I don't, I've never really traded on Coinbase except when I was, uh, just getting into cryptocurrencies. Um, it's been a, it's been a hot minute since I've, uh, I use Coinbase to move funds over. And to be frank, Coinbase, um, Coinbase, uh, let me move this down here a little bit. Coinbase, like, they, they register your fees as losses uh on trades at least they do for me and so it says i've lost like 500 bucks using coinbase when all i've done is my fees and 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 my fees so many freaking fees um but yeah i like the apple ecosystem uh so yeah i have a mac mini ipad iphone watch yeah it's really great oh you know what i do have an apple watch i just don't wear it too much because i have my regular gold watch um but i do sh i should start wearing my apple watch i think i'm gonna wear my apple watch when i go to las vegas with my mom so i can keep checking my steps and stuff um i bought my mom uh, uh, uh an apple watch too she loves it it's the only watch she wears she has those dainty you know uh ladies watches but um she really loves the Apple Watch because it tells her her pulls, you know, all, all all types of crazy stuff these Apple Watches do nowadays. Um, but yeah, so she likes it a lot. She wears it a lot more than I do mine. You know why? She lost her charger. I gave her my Apple Watch charger, so I just never bought another Apple Watch charger. That's exactly what it is. Um, and I have a pretty high-tech house, so to speak. Like, my sofas have slots so you can charge your phone. You just drop the phone into the slot in the sofa, and it's a wireless charger. I have tables where you just put the phone on the table in a certain spot. It starts wirelessly charging the phone. But I don't have anything that actually wirelessly charges my watch, of <laughs> all things, which is kind of annoying. I should buy some and just suck it up, but every time I want to spend excess money, I figure out a way to spend it on something else. Like, um... I'm spending money on this Vegas trip for my mother. I have to spend a few hundred bucks to get this uh, camera fixed up now because of Loki breaking it. So... As he sleeps down there um and, and stuff like that and right now apple's taking a little bit of a dip here uh let's see a teeny dip i guess he's already been taking a few dips like this over the day but every time it hits reaches new high come back down a little bit uh that wasn't breaking out but yeah apple's coming back down a little bit now wonder what the news was let's go over here to the apple website uh there we go our software platforms enable our developers to do their amazing work as well as provide incredible experiences for our users. So to tell you what's new with our software platforms, here's Craig. 
Uh, yeah, so when it comes to public, yeah, it's something like that, except for like video streaming and more engagement, I guess you would say. Um, and I would assume somewhat like that, yeah, but in a crypto setting, but uh, probably more of the traditional crypto exchange that you guys are looking at, if that makes sense. On iPhone, more personal and intuitive. And we can watch this for Our next too. release, iOS 17, delivers more expressive communication, simplified sharing, more intelligent input, and all new experiences for your iPhone. Let's begin with some major updates to three apps that are central to how you communicate with people every day. Phone, FaceTime, and Messages. The phone app is essential to the iPhone experience. Some of our most special moments start with a phone call. And we're making a big update to the phone app this year. Hmm. First, we're giving you a brand new way to express yourself with personalized contact posters. You get to customize exactly how you're represented when you give people a call. Contact posters feature beautiful treatments oh, that's for both cool. photos and emoji paired <laughs> with eye-catching typography. Don't do the emoji, And people. in Chinese and Japanese, the new layout with vertical text looks incredible. This rich new visual identity doesn't just show up in calls. It's also part of your contact card. So you'll have a consistent look across the places where you communicate and share. With posters, you're in control. Customizing your poster works a lot like personalizing your lock screen. Decide on the image, font. Looks like Apple's doing some stuff right now. I don't know why that's causing the price to come back down. I think it's just natural. It's a little bit of, a little bit of overbought here, right? Let's go back over here. Bitcoin's still trying to hold off, guys. Still trying. It looks like it's stabilizing a little bit more, so we may have a bounce here in the future. But uh, definitely a lot of concern coming back today. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, like here, I'll take you to the website. So again, I wouldn't recommend you guys go anywhere near them at the beginning stages. This goes for any major um, thing that I'm advising, um, which is why I'm kind of just blunt with you guys. Like I am advising them, but like, or uh, like here's trading. This is the one that's going to be for stocks. Um, if it wants to go. So um, here it is right now. Um, trending now, this type of stuff. Um, they just did an update here. So I'm going to start. Um, posting here but i'm pretty sure i already have a an account on this one um I, i've only been using the back end system so i, have, I haven't actually had a chance to look at their front end system so let's go over here very fast let me just type in uh michael whitman no feed oh wow that, that hurts uh how do i find my account here uh trending trending Again, this is brand new, so I, I, I haven't actually had a chance to look at the brand new site. Usually I have to go through a back end on my other one. Uh, the feed. Trending now. Welcome to the platform. Uh, was created by Jordan. Can I follow this guy? No, I'm going to figure out this website because I do have an account here and I do have a lot of stuff, but I haven't posted in a hot minute because I've been having issues posting and they've been helping me out with it. Um, but basically, let me go over here to you very fast. Let me go over here. Let me open up another account. Let's go over here to my women analysis. If I go over here and I go to tradesing, I should be able to go to private profile. Use my password. This is the back end. So I have a bunch of content on this one right here. So I don't know exactly how to access it just yet. Um, and I have a bunch more content than that actually here. I have a bunch more videos than this. I don't know where they're at. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll have to wait and see. Cause this is not on my videos. Yeah, I wonder. Widgets, can I go to my profile? I don't know, I, it's not worth checking out too much. Okay, let's go right here. Oh, there's Loki in one of my videos. Yeah, see, oh no, I feel like I have more videos here. I'll figure it out in the future because I have a lot of content I need to put on here. But yeah, so this is one of them. Um, you get the app and stuff like that. So it'll be very interesting, but this is in beta as well. Then when you go over here to earn bit, as far as the other one, this one's way, way in the beginning. See, no information is available for this page. Brand, brand new. This is like the beginning st stages of an exchange where like it's it's early early like 
people normally never even see exchanges at these levels because nobody's ever searching for them, frankly. And reasonably so, it's very hard to trust your money to a new exchange. Very, very difficult. Um, and so cryptocurrency, like they have, they have good spot trading, but they're not, they're new in America. They're kind of from Europe. Um, but yeah, so, you know, earn bit news, earn bit stuff like this. They're getting ready to add a whole bunch of stuff. But again, if you go over here to trade, you're really looking at the trading view stuff. They're going to advance this type of stuff, but your, your typical layout, right? Um, then you got your launch pad for new exchanges and stuff like that. Um, earn system, I guess, you know, this is, um, pl staking plan C all brand new. So I'm going to be helping out these companies here, um, moving forward, but I think it'll be interesting to see kind of, you know, how everything works out, but it'll definitely take some time for these companies. <laughs> you heard me talking about them, but what do you call, um, that would be a while. Um, and hey, better, uh, bed. Bedro Sion, make, make sure I pronounce your name properly. Yeah, we looked at the, the Binance statement. They're pretty uh, assertive that they didn't do anything wrong. Uh, let's go back over here to CZ. I think we can find it somewhere. What is it? Yeah, there we go. So um, the SEC complaint aims to unilaterally define crypto market structure, and then it goes, it's, you know, goes on to say, we are disappointed that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission chose to file a complaint today against Binance, among other remedies, purported to emergency relief. So, you know, they're not happy with it. They basically said uh, they thought they were engaging in good faith with uh, the SEC, and the SEC is, you know, uh, being a bad actor here by not just, you know, being... Um, a good faith negotiator and then going out and filing these lawsuits here and then um we will work along with industry partners to defend this important technology from misguided laws and we will maintain our unceasing efforts to deliver a safe and trusted platform for our users that holds true to our core value of furthering the freedom of money so that's good i think the only real thing that the sec uh, that cz has to worry about is not about them selling securities like the bnb token or the the, the the staking systems i don't think that's really the big thing here the poison pill that i saw from all this was the fact that that they said they were co-mingling funds that it's like a, a whistle a, whatever you want to call it you know a callback to what happened with ftx and cz i mean ftx and uh sam bankman freed so i am a little bit concerned that if they do have some proof about co-mingling of funds in a way that's illegal that'll be kind of um suspicious or sketchy i guess you would say now i don't know if it means that they were just spending finance money on like pri like you know stuff they weren't supposed to be spending money on i don't know what that may be but you know like you know apartments in jamaica or something like that or it just means that finance us money was intermingled with finance money if those two things are what's happening i'm not I'm, I'm i'm upset i guess but it's not like i'm like oh okay they were stealing money something really bad was happening um but yeah we'll, we'll have to see um at this point um Taking it slow, though. Taking it slow. Maybe Michael Saylor has something to say. I don't follow him, but uh, everything is good for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a barrel of fun. Gold can't win. Bitcoin can't lose. Uh, yeah, so what do you call it? Um, you know, we're, we're seeing that quite a bit uh, right now. And what's happening with Binance? Oh, hey, Bar uh, uh, Brightus. Um, uh, oh, basically, the SEC is suing Binance. Uh, I did have it. Oh, I did have the, an article written up here, but I, maybe I should find it again. There we go. Okay. Uh, what exactly does the SEC think did here? Okay. I got a pitcher of water because I just knew this was going to be a long day. And I think they did come out a while ago saying they didn't commingle funds. I think they actually had an interview on CNBC about it. Um, you don't have the ability to browse. Oh, I, I probably went to GPT. I need to go to plugins. Yeah. Um, let me just copy this. New chat. New chat. There you go. Plugins. Maybe this works. There you go. It's using Link Reader now. Just as an update for you guys. 
There you go. Uh, so that with multiple security law violations, here are the key allegations. Operating unregistered securities, brokers, dealers, clearing agencies, the SEC alleges that Binance and BAM Trading operated unregistered national security exchanges, uh, securities exchanges, broker dealers, and clearing agencies. This includes Binance.com, the largest crypto asset trading platform in the world, and Binance.us, a U.S.-based uh, affiliate. Misrepresenting trading controls and oversight, unregistered offer and sale of securities, secretly allowing U.S. customers to trade. This means that they were using a VPN and they knew about it, they didn't do anything about it. Seeking control over Binance.us, uh, misuse of customer assets. This is the big one we were just talking about. The SEC alleges that Binance exercised control over the platform's customer assets, permitting them to commingle customer assets or divert customer assets as they please, including to an entity they owned and controlled both by Zhao called Sigma Chain. That's probably the big uh, problem right there. Manipulative trading. The SEC alleges that Sigma Chain engaged in manipulative trading that artificially in, uh, inflated their platform's uh, trading volume. Commingling investor assets. The SEC alleges that the defendants concealed the fact that they were commingling, commingling, excuse me, billions of dollars of invested assets, investor assets, excuse me, uh, and sending them to a third party, Merited Peak Limited, also owned by Zhao. All right. Um, the SEC's complaint is based on the premise that Binance and Zhao engage in an extensive web of deception, conflicts of interest, lack of disclosure, and evasion of law. They are accused of misleading investors about their risk controls and corrupt trading volumes, corrupted trading volumes, excuse me, while actively concealing who was operating the platform, the manipulative trading or its affiliated market maker, and even where uh, and with whom investor funds and crypto assets were custod uh, custodied. All right, so what I want to see right here is I just want to learn a little bit more about um, where's that website that they were just talking about, Sigma Chain. So tell me more about Sigma Chain. Uh, maybe we can learn a little bit more about that. Oh, okay, so I gotta use a different plugin here because it's not using the line. Um What is Sigma Chain and what do they do here? Okay. Some of you guys maybe even know what uh Sigma Chain is, I just don't. Um they made uh the mad Binance taking their employees. I mean, Binance is probably paying more. While we're looking at this link, if you guys go over here to Binance uh, let's go to the main Binance page. Now, I doubt we're going to be able to find out exactly how much they get paid yet. Cool. I don't care about that. Careers. View openings. I mean, they got a lot of jobs. If you go over here to, let's just say, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the finance and administration. Maybe that's where they're coming from, the IRS. Oh, they have no job openings right now. Oh, no, they've got 29. Accountant, accounting director, Binance Accelerated Program, Binance Accelerated Program, clearing and treasury specialist, clearing manager, right? And so they got tons of jobs. So maybe if I go back over here, actually, very fast. Uh, accountant. Do they tell how much work it is? No. Requirements. They don't tell you how much the how what the pay of the job is, but it must be good if they um. If they're stealing all the employees from the the IRS, it's always nice to know the IRS isn't uh, the, uh that your company isn't going to go uh kaput. I guess or people don't think Binance is going to go kaput, but when it comes to the U.S. government, we 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 have sort of issues every now and again. Um, let's go back over here very fast. Finance administration, marketing. Yeah, they even they have, they have a bunch of marketing here. Junior news editor. News and Academy Editor, Content Lead, Media News Focus, Events Manager. Events Manager seems kind of nice. Global. Um, yeah, but a whole bunch of stuff here. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, maybe even going over here to Strategy. You know, Director, Director, Director. That seems like a very uh, high-paying position right there. But yeah, a lot of drama going on right now. Binance going to delist some coins. Uh, I mean, I would suspect they need to if, you know, just to protect themselves here. But you see you see exchanges all the time taking off coins that don't do well. They give coins an opportunity, so they give coins an opportunity by letting them list on their exchange. Um, usually the coins do okay. Maybe they have a couple pumps and maybe a dumper at the beginning. Who knows? Um, but then after a while, if they if the people that uh, have started that new coin aren't 
doing well or they're not you know giving updates to the users a lot of times you see the coins come down um you know uh, over time loki's over here wanting to play remember i got a, i got my bad camera here because of this guy Loki, come here yep, 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 yep. He says hello to everybody. No, don't whatever's on my face. But you are pretty cute today. Yes, you are. Yeah. So he's he's in a good mood. Okay. But okay, buddy, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'll probably try to stream a little bit later on tonight if I can. I just saw that this was happening. It looks like we're slowing down just a little bit at this point. Um, just a little bit. But we kind of are getting closer and closer to that larger support level. So take your time, relax. This is going to be a long haul here as we kind of figure out more and more news. And if you guys, um, if you guys uh, want to learn more, I would go to ChatGPT or just like look up any of these uh, pages from the SEC or Binance. They kind of have a little bit of news in there. And I think Mr. Jerko over here, maybe he'll be in the uh, the, the Doge corn stream after this. He seems to be actually really knowledgeable about all this stuff. And yeah, I, I do believe FBI agent stuff. Well, they're, they're smart about how they do it. I'll tell you that they are very smart about how they've moved along with this process because, you know, I just, I think they thought, uh, Binance thought they were working with a rational person. Gary Gensler is not rational. So I'll kind of end the stream off of that. So be careful, guys. Uh, if you guys are hopping into Bitcoin, um, I'd be happy to hop in right now off of a bad day like this. But even now, you could probably feel some um, probably feel some hesitation before jumping in. And that's perfectly okay. Okay, okay, everybody. I'll see you a bit later. I'm gonna take Loki outside and let him run around a little bit because he has um, what do you call it? He, he he'll be chilling out. And hey, Joker. Well, after the stream, everybody gets moved over to the, the Dogecoin stream here. You don't have to go over there if you guys don't want to. That's if you guys want to chill and talk a little bit more. You're going to be seeing a side-by-side -side stream, you know, with Bitcoin and Dogecoin here. So see you a little bit, Mr. Joker. And uh, Joker, um, maybe later on tonight, I'll make you into a moderator. Or maybe tomorrow. You seem to be in here a lot, so I appreciate that. And I do need some more moderators. So if you're uh, able, let me know sometime uh, during the next stream, okay? Thanks, everybody. And I hope to see you guys later. I need to get breakfast because I have not eaten it yet at all. And I am freaking...